Hello, welcome to the World Missions and Evangelism video blog. Uh, today, I'm going to just for a few minutes, this is going to be a short blog because I'm just going to talk about uh, our most recent report. Now, I'm making this report in March, this video in March of 2016, and very shortly, within just a few weeks and probably less than a month from now, we will be getting our at least the raw reports, we won't have them uh, compiled yet, but the raw reports from our NSTAR project at WME uh, to kind of see what has happened in the first quarter of, 20, uh, of 2016. But uh, we have only recently, just in the last couple of weeks, finished processing uh, the reports from the fourth quarter of 2015. So uh, everything that I tell you today is going to be uh, in relationship to where we were uh, uh, two and a half months ago or so, the end of December of 2015. But I do want to tell you that, uh, and, and the reason for that is this is so large now. Our, our, uh, uh, the project in, in Latin America, the NSTAR project, which is touching several countries, uh, still primarily the results are happening where the movement is rolling in Honduras. But uh, uh, still primarily, most of these are from, from, from Honduras, but also from some other countries as well. Uh, I want to just give you a, an updated report. We've put all this stuff already on our blog, and we've sent it out in a newsletter. But just want to let you know that there are over 2,800 groups and churches. Some are groups, some are churches. Uh, we count about 2,000 of them as at least on the level of what is a minimal church. Some are organized in different ways down there, but uh, over 2,800 groups and nearly 19,000 people uh, involved in these groups. And uh, it was actually our, at the end of December, we were counting 18,841 people. Now put this in perspective, that's December 2015. We started uh, with beginning to train a team, counting American missionaries and Honduran leaders, uh, and this and counting men, women, and children, we started in May of 2008 with 23 or 24 people. So from 23 individuals to nearly 19,000 in individuals involved in this uh, movement since May of 2000. Eight, and we've seen incredible, uh, incredible multiplication uh, happening uh, in Latin America. Uh, uh, in uh, in just in the fourth quarter, just in the fourth quarter of uh, of 2015, from October to December, we saw 2,785 new people come into groups. We saw. Uh, 1,519, 1,519 people make a profession of faith to accept Jesus Christ. That's people that had not done that before, but that have, ex they said we're receiving Jesus as our Savior and Lord, 1,519. We saw 1,114 people water baptized. I'm talking about from October through December of 2015. We saw 423 new Discovery Bible studies uh, begin in that period of time. Uh, these Discovery Bible Studies uh, are now 11 generations deep. Uh, uh, hundreds of groups in uh, several of our uh, uh, generations and, uh, and more than 100 in several. And so we're seeing an amazing thing happen. And I just wanted to give that report to you today to tell you if you're a prayer warrior, if you're a, if you're a financial supporter of uh, WME, I want you to know that your prayer and your support uh, is bearing fruit in souls that are coming to Christ and in souls and people that are saying, we're going to follow Jesus, we're going to be baptized, we're going to be a part of a new group or church, and uh, that's changing people's lives. I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm looking forward to our next report from the first quarter, which I said we'll be receiving the raw reports from the field here in the next month, Lord willing, and then it'll still take us a couple of months to process it and know how many people are involved and so forth. But I, just anecdotally, I'm getting reports uh, just, uh, I think this, was it last night or this morning that I got an email 
I mean, I saw it today, uh, and, and that is that in one particular region where we've been working, hundreds of new groups have started just in one region. Uh, and uh, so there's an explosion of people coming to Jesus and becoming, starting in Discovery Bible Studies, and there's an explosion of that happening in the field. And we just praise God that we have a team of people that are working there. Uh, just before I close this video, what are we looking toward for this year? What are, what are the vision of this year? Well, uh, right now in Honduras, we're, uh, the, the idea is continue to train and mentor leaders where the movement is happening. And uh, our strategy coordinator, Keith Travis, is now in Honduras, and he is working with uh, uh, our training coordinator, Randy Travis. They're down there on a ministry project. They're uh, helping to build a house for a family, uh, for, a, for a widow lady there. They're involved in building a house. They're getting ready in the next week or two of holding a, a special training, an advanced training in disciple-making movement strategy and leadership strategy for the, some of the groups that are already working. Many of the leaders that are already seeing fruit were going to be giving some additional training to them. And, uh, and then uh, Keith is going to be visiting groups and churches that have started in, in one or two of the regions of Honduras. Uh, and so Honduras, we're just, uh, we're just uh, our goal is pour gasoline on the fire because it's God's uh, work. God is doing it. And so the team is there. The Honduran team is working hard. And uh, we just ask for your prayers. Honduras is just going to continue on. Uh, Guatemala, uh, we've been, uh, there have been a training event already in Guatemala, more than one over the last few years. And uh, we're excited about Guatemala as well. Uh, there's the beginning of some things there. And uh, especially there's an affiliated ministry with uh, WME is a part of, we, we consider it a part of our NSTAR project. It's a separate project on its own called the Promise House. Uh, Barbara Page and her husband James Page have uh, founded this uh, ministry to uh, unwed teenage mothers uh, in in Guatemala, and I can tell you they're already using our Discovery Bible Studies there as they're discipling these young women, ministering to their physical and financial, emotional, mental, spiritual needs, and uh, and using the DBS groups with them. So we're excited about uh, what's happening there as it has started. Uh, there, Argentina. Uh, group, there are groups in Argentina. We had a great training there last September. There'll be another training this year, and uh, God has opened doors there with uh, uh, with the uh, not only the, the general population of Argentina, but also uh, the Wichi Indian tribe. Uh, we're excited about what's happening there. What's going to happen? as we continue to train people in Argentina. Puerto Rico, we did a training there in uh, uh, 2015 as well, an initial training. Uh, one of our missionaries, uh, Julio Rodriguez, is heading there next month to do a follow-up uh, and to help them uh, begin to apply the principles. Ecuador, we're looking forward to what God is going to do in Ecuador. There are already some groups, about I believe about seven groups that have started. Julio will be going back to Ecuador later this year to follow up there. Uh, Nicaragua, there's a good number of groups. I don't even know how many, but several. I think we're probably, I think there's somewhere about 30, 35, 40. I don't know how many all together in Nicaragua. Uh, uh, and this is, uh, uh, some of it's spillover and some of it is new training that has happened in Nicaragua. So many countries are being touched and uh, your giving and your prayers for WME, for this project, for the leadership in, in Latin America is having an effect. So God bless you. Thank you so much. We're, we're excited about the future. We're excited about uh, the vision of God as it goes forth in uh, Latin America. God bless you. Be in prayer for this work, and uh, we'll be uh, coming back uh, with more videos, uh, Lord willing, next week, more teaching videos. But we just want to take this time to give you a report. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.